Hi everybody, it's Shanna. I'm doing something daring today. I'm actually speaking through a video. I'll probably pause it and or quiet it down and throw some music on in a little bit. And I just have always been paranoid about my voice and I was convinced at a retreat by a couple of the gals that my voice isn't that bad. It's not as cute as Tiffany Goff Smith's who this piece is going to be inspired by. She did this awesome little video about how to make a bird wall hanging and I was inspired by it. Mine is a little bit different um, but it's just gonna be basic supplies and I'll put little tidbits like I normally do on the video uh, telling you what I'm using and when and I am going to mute this up and we will go from there. Big hugs and mushy stuff. I hope you enjoy. So this retreat I was on was the very first art retreat that I'd ever been on and it was um, pretty awesome because um, I got to meet these ladies that I've known in this art group, Artful Male Groupies on Facebook, um, of which I am the slacker admin of. It was hosted by the main admin, Betty, um, and she just went above and beyond. We got to go to Canton, which was this huge flea market thing, and that's where I got the Bobsy Twins book, which it was already falling apart. That's why I'm not afraid of tearing it apart. Um, the pages are already out of the, falling out of the binding and everything, and just the color of the paper was awesome. I also got the chance to do a little uh, class, I guess you call it, with Tiffany Goff Smith, and for me, I tend to be so precise on everything and um, I don't necessarily plan things out but I usually end up adding more detail than I wish I would on some things because sometimes I look back at some of these videos and go oh why didn't I stop there which is the first video I did which was inspired by her bird wall hanging is this one and looking back I like this but looking back through the process I wish I would have stopped and kept it simpler, and I'm striving to do that with this one because um, I really love that look, but I always go too far, and I lose the simplicity of it because I just keep on going, you know? Sometimes it works, but a lot of times I end up regretting going any further. But So this time... I kind of have her video freeze framed over my computer. It's over there, which is sometimes you'll see me pause. I'll go to look at hers again. And just to remind me, look at the sim simple beauty of just keeping things simple, you know? Um, whereas this one, it's still neat with the papers and stuff, but I wish I wouldn't have put the black outline. I stamped, I think I stamped too much. I lost the detail in the beautiful stencil that I have here. I'm going to use it again. I love this stencil. I got this at the retreat as well. Um, Patty Tolly Parish. The stencil is just amazing. I love it. I'm going to use it again. But this time I'm, like I said, I'm just going to keep it simple. And you saw how I put this aside. This is not the perfect bird shape. I think I'll go right like that. I'll make another bird too, but... Um, throw a little gesso down on this just to keep it, actually I'll water it down. All right, I'm going to mute it again. Oh, I thought I should tell you too. This is a little sign I got. This is what made me want to follow hers. I got this wood placard. I have probably a good 20 of them left. It says 29 cents. I got them for like 15 cents a piece. They're on the clearance rack at Walgreens. And the manager, there were different prices on all of them. And the manager said, I just want them gone. You can have them all. So I, I paid next to nothing for them. I think I got them all for two bucks. And I love using them. But, you know, you get used to using the same background. You kind of let it set aside. And it's kind of nice to try it out again. All right, I'm going to mute again. We'll go back to a little bit of music. 